Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to downgrade any A10 device to any iOS version that once supported. Alright, so to do this, you're going to need an A10 device, just like this iPhone 7 Plus I have right here, and a Mac. You can do this in Linux, but for this video, I'll be using Mac OS. And one thing I want to make clear is that this downgrade is tethered, meaning every time your device dies or shuts down, you need to connect it to a computer to turn it on again. Also, this video is for educational purposes only, and I'm not responsible for any harm caused to your device. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is visit the website sep.law on any browser, so I'll just use Safari, sep.law, and then you see Turtus Marula, this is the tool we're going to be using to downgrade. So from here, you're just going to click download for macOS, and then just download the .tar, and then once that downloads, just unzip it, and then you could drag it to the desktop, because I think that makes it a little easier. I already have it right here, so I'm not going to do that. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is you want to know what versions your device can run since this downgrade tool can only downgrade to versions your device once ran so you're going to go to the link in the description here serial number decoder.co.uk click on more and go to apple serial numbers and then scroll down and then in here you're going to put your ser serial number and click decode you can find the serial number in general and about in settings all right so once you've entered your serial number it'll give you this and it'll tell you your device was made in week whatever of the year it was made so then what you want to do is you want to search that. So for me, it's week 43 of 2016. And then you'll see the date. The date. So here, October 24th, 2016. And now what you want to do is you don't want to download the IPSW for this date. So like any IPSW that's newer than that date that you got. So I'll go ahead and go to iPhone. And then 7 Plus. Of course, if you're using an iPad, you'll go to the iPad section. So GSM, and then here you're going to scroll down and just find the version you want. So for me, since mine was October of 2016, I can download like nearly any version of 10, iOS 10, but I'm just going to download the latest version of iOS 10. So here, download this, and then just click on download. I will leave the link in the description for this website. And then that will automatically download, and then just wait for that to download. Okay, so once that's downloaded, you could drag it to the desktop. You don't need to, but I think this makes it a little easier. And then you're going to go to Applications, Utilities, and Launch the Terminal. Don't be scared. This is really easy. And then now what you want to do is you want to make sure your device is connected with a USB cable to your Mac. And make sure that it's using USB-A and not USB-C. If, if your Mac doesn't have USB port, just use a USB, USB-C to USB-A adapter because the USB-C cables will not work. Alright, so now just uh, go to this link in the description, iOS.cfw.guide slash Turtus Marula Tethered. And then here you're going to scroll down to A10 or A10X devices. You can also do this with A9, but that process is a little different. So I might do a video about that, but if you want to know, then you can just see any other video on YouTube. Alright, so once you're here, you want to make sure your device is connected, as I've mentioned before. And it doesn't matter what version you're running, I have the latest version of iOS 15.8.4. But if you're on an older version, like 13 and 14, I'd probably recommend saving blobs before doing this, since if you want to go back to those versions, you can't unless you use blobs. Okay, so now once we're here, you want to put your device into DFU mode. So, um, with this 7 Plus, since the home button isn't physical, I have to use the power button and the volume buttons. So you're going to just hold those for around 8 seconds, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then release the power button and keep holding the volume down button. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then you might get this notification. If you're on a later, later version of uh, Mac OS, I believe it will say recovery mode. I mean DFU mode, but here it says recovery mode. Just ignore this. Now, once you're here, what you want to do is once your device is in DFU mode, you're going to write CD and then drag the Turtus Marula folder. Here I have it on my desktop. And then just click enter. All right, let's try that again. CD and then drag the folder. And then click enter. There you go. Now you're in the Turtus Marula directory. Now you just go to this website and then just copy the first command here. Just copy paste it. So command C and then enter. There we go. 
Then the next one, this command puts it in Pwn DFE mode, so copy this command and then just run it. And then you will see all of this. Um, if it doesn't fi find the DFE mode device, then just put it into DFE mode again. And then what now, you're going to run this uh, and just click Command C. And it says IPSW file here. You're going to replace this with the path to your IPSW file. So here, and then I'm going to put space, and this is my IPSW here. Um, it doesn't matter where you put it, I just have it on the desktop for easy access, so I'm just going to drag it in, and I'm going to click enter. And now it's going to start the restore process. This could take a few minutes, and it will show some code on the screen, like the, check, the checkmate screen. Don't worry about that. And then here it's going to ask you what the firmware you want to use. Just click one, and click enter. That's the only option anyways. And now just leave this for a while. This will take maybe like a few minutes. So yeah, and also it's going to ask you that you want to erase all your data here. It will erase all your data, so if you're fine with doing that, press yes. If you don't want to, then just go back. So I'm just going to press yes since I don't have anything, and enter. And now you're just going to wait for this to finish. Okay, so after a while, you'll see right here that it says done. And when you look at your device, um, you'll be on a recovery screen. So now you're going to scroll down a little bit. We were here and scroll down to booting the device. Um, and then just skip these because when we run this, it'll just let you like it'll guide you how to go to DFE mode. So you're gonna copy the first part and then paste it here, add a space, and then open the Turtus Marula folder. Go to image four, and then drag the first one in. This should be the iBoot, and it should have iBoot in the name. And then once that's there, you're gonna write dash i so dash i add a space, and then drag the last one, signed as EP, and then once that's done, it should say signed, the file should have signed in the name, so signed, and then once that's done, you're going to write dash P, space, and then add the last one, which is uh, M4P, so you know this is the right one, because it's the only one with the M4P extension, and then you're just going to, you don't need to remove the space, it doesn't matter, press enter, and then It'll guide you through how to go through DFE mode. Um, so if you have, if your device has a physical home button like the iPads, you'll have to use the home button instead of the volume down one. So just press enter, and then wait for three seconds, two, one, and then hold the power and volume down button for that long, and then release, and then just wait a little bit. And then once 10 seconds has passed, you can release. And it's found DFU mode, and now it's going to put it into clone DFU and boot the device. So just wait a little bit. It shouldn't take too long. You can close out of this. So here, we can see the check screen screen. We're going to say booting. And once it says set boot UX, you can see that. Say set boot UX. That meant that this is successful, and then you'll see a little loading, loading bar here, right under the Apple logo. So just wait. This shouldn't take too long. Right, so after a while, you'll see the device has booted. So if we bring it up here, the hello screen, so I can just go ahead. And then I'll just set this up as usual, as you would normally set up a device. All right, so here it's activating. And since um, this, it doesn't like mess up the SCP or something like that. I'm not sure what the specifics are. But with this downgrade, you'll still be able to use Touch ID or Wi-Fi. But this is using an exploit, so it's probably not recommended to do that. I'll just disable location services. Set up Touch ID later. You can do this if you really want to, but I'm not going to do this right now. Um, you can put a passcode as well, but I won't add a passcode. Continue. Then I'm just going to set this up as new. You could sign into your Apple ID. I probably wouldn't recommend it. Wait, not forgot. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend it since, as I mentioned, this is exploited. So it's not 100% safe. We'll just agree to those. Don't share. This month later. To view, or I'll just put zoomed. And then welcome to iPhone. So just click get started, and then I'm just gonna probably go black. But here we are, and we're finally downgraded. So once we open it up, see we're running iOS 10. All right. So that's about it. This is how to downgrade your your device to any iOS version that your device once ran. And also, if your device does turn off and you want to boot it back, what you have to do is you'll be in recovery mode. Just put it back into DFU mode, or actually, don't do that. Just run the last command you ran, so this one, 
this one with the iBoot, the signed SCP, and the target SCP, and then just follow the steps, enter the Akulun, and then it'll just boot your device. And sometimes on the Pongo OS screen, it'll get stuck on booting. If that happens, just force restart it um, with power and volume down or power and home button, and then just try again. And yeah, that's about it. So hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, consider leaving a like and subscribing. So yeah, that's it. Bye.